This video is sponsored by Interactive Brokers. More on them later. What are five of the top dividend stocks on the FTSE 100 to invest in for 2023? The UK large cap index has some of the best companies for dividend investing in the world. With the index weighting heavily towards industries typically classed in the value sectors, many companies' preferred form of shareholder capital return is in the form of dividends. And with some companies steadily yielding upwards of 7% annually, and others with excellent track records for dividend growth, there are some excellent choices to invest in here. Each stock in this video comes from a different industry, giving you a varied choice of stocks to choose from to help you build a diversified portfolio. For those of you who are new here, welcome to Wise Wealth, where we dive into all things personal finance. If you like this type of content, make sure to leave a like down below and to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload new content. Now I must caveat this by saying that this is not financial advice and purely my own thoughts. I would always advise doing your own due diligence before investing. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First on the list is Unilever, ticker symbol ULVR. Unilever is a UK based consumer goods company. The company operates through three segments, beauty and personal care, foods and refreshment, and home care. As of this video, the stock is currently trading at 41 pounds and 10 pence per share. You may not be familiar with the individual products that Unilever owns from the name of the group company, but household names like Dove, Persil, Lipton, Hellman's and PG Tips, just to name a few, are all owned by Unilever. The company has a diversified range of products that we use on a day-to-day -day basis all across the world. While it's UK based, Unilever gets a large portion of its revenue overseas, further diversifying the income and providing an excellent way for us as investors to hedge against foreign currency volatility. As a consumer staples company, Unilever is also virtually recession proof. If there is to be a global recession in the future, with Europe already arguably in one, consumers are unlikely to stop buying Unilever products. At the end of the day, we all still need soap, house cleaning products, and tea. Compared to a discretionary purchase like designer clothes, Unilever's income is highly dependable. The stock currently yields a strong dividend of 3.55%, outpacing the FTSE 100 average yield. The stock is also close to its 52-week high of £42.50, indicating strong technical momentum as well. Unilever also recently benefited from the inclusion of an activist investor to the board of directors, Nelson Peltz. Since his inclusion, a new CEO has been announced to take the reins in July of 2023. There's an expectation that this will ultimately deliver greater returns to shareholders than the current outgoing CEO has managed to deliver. Unilever pays out dividends quarterly, typically in March, June, September, and December. Number two on our list is Shell, ticker symbol SHEL. As of this video, the stock is currently trading at £24.67 per share. The oil majors had an immense year in 2022, and Shell was no exception. Shell saw their recent earnings revenues leap 46% to $381 billion. They have come under political scrutiny with many lobbying for a windfall tax on their profits as a result of soaring commodity prices. Shell have decided to return more capital to shareholders with this excess cash, increasing their quarterly dividend by 15% from the previous quarter, while also announcing a further $4 billion share buyback authorization. The stock now currently yields 3.5% and looks set to grow dividends further in the future. The stock has also had an immense run since the 2020 lows, soaring over 300%. Shell also pays out dividends quarterly, typically in March, June, September and December, providing a steady stream of income over time. While receiving dividends in a standard investment account is a great way to boost your personal income streams, investing in a tax-sheltered ISA helps maximize how much of your earnings you keep. With the end of the fiscal year looming, it's important to maximize your ISA contribution before it resets. And today's sponsor, Interactive Brokers, provides an excellent set of offerings to do just that. 
with options for beginner investors such as Global Trader, to more robust workstations for traders, Interactive Brokers provides a set of tools for everyone to build a comprehensive dividend income portfolio. What sets them apart from others is the transparent and low cost of trading on the platform. From £3 per trade for Western European stocks and a small monthly activity fee in a stocks and shares ISA of just £3, far less than some other platforms here in the UK. If you want to know more about Interactive Brokers or to set up an ISA with them, I've left a link in the description below to take you there. Make sure to maximize your ISA contributions to build a tax-sheltered portfolio and not have to pay tax on your dividend income as a UK resident. Number three on our list of top dividend stocks on the FTSE 100 is GlaxoSmithKline, ticker symbol GSK. GSK is a global biopharma company that manufactures vaccines and specialty medicines to prevent and treat disease. As of this video, the stock is currently trading at £15.05 per share. As a stalwart of the healthcare industry, GSK is another recession-proof, defensive stock that provides a solid return in the form of a dividend. With a current yield of 4.08%, it's also a higher return than other pharmaceutical stocks on the FTSE 100. The stock price has been challenged over the past year after falling following the spin-off of Halion, its consumer health division with investors calling into question the earnings resiliency of GSK. Despite this, the recent 2022 results showed strong revenue growth of 11%, as well as a 14% increase in operating profit. GSK pays out dividends quarterly, typically in January, April, July, and October. Number four on the list is Legal in General, ticker symbol LGEN. Legal & General is a UK-based financial services provider, with the company segments including retirement, investment management, and insurance. As of this video, the stock is currently trading at 256 pence per share. Legal & General is a mainstay of my top dividend stocks year after year. This is partly due to the immense dividend yield of 7.21% that has proven stable over many years one of my reasons for investing in Legal in General was the strength of the management team. Lately, Chief Executive Nigel Wilson announced his retirement from the firm, which does pose a risk for investors. The stock price has remained flat over a five-year period after taking a severe hit in 2020. However, it was one of the few stocks in the financial services industry in the UK to maintain its dividend and not succumb to a cut or suspension. Legal in general pays out dividends biannually, typically in March and September. Finally, at number five on our list is Rio Tinto, ticker symbol RIO. Rio Tinto is a mining and metals company and is principally engaged in the production of materials such as iron ore, aluminium, copper, and minerals. As of this video, the stock is currently trading at £60.71 per share. Given the two previous dividend payments, Rio Tinto represents the highest dividend yield on this list of 8.7%. The 2021 final dividend also included a special dividend payout, which rewarded investors with an astronomical 13% yield at the time of payment. Since then, the stock has appreciated significantly due to the rise in commodity prices and inflationary macro environment. With the reopening of China expected to keep commodity prices elevated, Rio Tinto could be an excellent pick for a dividend portfolio for exposure to the materials sector. If commodity prices tumble, however, due to a deep recession, the sustainability of the dividend could come into question. Rio Tinto pays out dividends biannually, typically in March and September. So there you have it, five of the top dividend stocks to invest in for 2023. Are you invested in any of these already? Are there any others that aren't on this list that you think deserve a mention? Let me know in the comments below. If you got value out of this video, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more personal finance and investing content. Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.